and welcome to the Inland Sports Show. It's a Wednesday night, 6 o'clock here, live at Valverde Team Vision TV 16. Jeff Gorham, I'm Pep Fernandez. Jeff, jam-packed show tonight, a lot of football coverage. A lot of football coverage, a lot of big names, Pep. Yeah, we got Jaden Daniels, just oh. named the starter at Arizona State. We got Chaparral head coach Andrew Raymer. We've got our high school football preseason rankings, which we will unveil tonight on the show a little bit later. But right now, we're talking a little college foosball. I love college football, and who's on the docket first, Pep? He's a local star. He did it at Ukaipa High School, hashtag Yucktown. Now he's doing it at the University of Redlands. He's joining us live right now from the U of R. It's the Bulldogs quarterback, Nathan Martinez. Nathan, thanks for joining us on the show, man. Hey, we, we loved watching you in high school. Now we get to watch you at the college level, too. Uh, man, what's it like playing in your own backyard here at the U of R? Well, first off, Pep, thank you very much for having me. It's always love coming to your show. Great for the community and all that. But, no, it's really cool. Uh, we get a lot of people that are local coming out, and it's pretty cool that I can do it close to home. So, Now, I think you guys are, what, reporting to camp today, first practice tomorrow. So, I mean, football season is here at the U of R, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think 120 kids just came on campus, and we're all ready to go. So you, you open up the season, uh, I think it's on the road at George Fox, and some of those Oregon schools, man, they always play the Bulldogs tough. They have some pretty good uh, D3 football up there in the state of Oregon. So you play at George Fox, and then you're going to come back home. you got your, your home opener against Puget Sound from Washington the following week. Those first couple games of the season, Nathan, as the starting QB at the U of R, what, what are you hoping to see out of yourself, out of the offense, as you kind of get the season going on, on the right foot? Uh, we just want to see consistent football. Uh, we want to make sure we're doing all of our assignments right. We want to make sure we're playing well, uh, make sure we're just clicking as a team, and obviously see a couple wins go up. So get off on the right foot is basically what it comes down to. Now, you uh, had some playing time last year, seven touchdowns uh, through the air, one on the ground. You know, we saw you at Ukaipa High School enough to know that you're just a fantastic athlete. You can do it on the ground. You can do it through the air. Do you ever go up to Coach Good or Coach Maynard and say, hey, uh, let me, let, let's open it up a little bit, uh, you know, like throw it through the air and, like you said, maybe call some run plays for yourself? <laughs> I mean, they, they do a great job of getting us all prepared. Like, do I have my preferences? Of course, but – I have full faith in the, in the coaches and what we're doing here. Uh, right now, it looks like we got a good group of guys and a uh, good coaching staff get to get some success on the play calls. So we're, we're good. We're, we're going to be ready. It's going to be nice. Well, Nathan, do some name dropping. Who are some of the guys around you at the U of R that you're going to count on on offense? I, I've heard a couple names tossed around, uh, uh, potential running backs for the Bulldogs. But who are some of the guys on offense that we will be talking about this season right here on the Inland Sports Show? Uh, a couple of the big names I, I think are going to be important. We got David Molina, uh, Blake Roy. Uh, we got Steve Van Grau, Mitch, uh, Mitchell Ninkovich. Just those are like the main receiver guys. And then a lot of the rotator guys are going to do a lot of work too. Uh, Kai Thompson's going to do a lot of work in the backfield. I think uh, we're going to get Noah McFadden in, in in the mix at receiver. And I think some of the new freshman guys I'm uh, um, getting just starting to meet a little bit. Uh, some of the local guys like the receiver out of Paloma Valley. Uh, is here, so we got we got some uh, local guys. That I think are new a lot too. So, so like you mentioned, everyone's getting on campus today. Uh, you, you'll practice tomorrow, so I'm sure there's going to be you know some new faces joining the team. How, how important is it for the next couple of weeks that you guys, you know, it's a sports cliche, but bond and, and gel together before that first game on the road at George Fox? Uh, it's huge. Uh, all the teams that I've been a part of that we won games, like you type the, even all that little boy football, you play for the teams that you like, the players around you that you like. It's not just like your love for the game. It's like how much of a relationship, like I don't want to let this dude down because he's my buddy. I have to see him the next day in class. Like I, if I make a wrong play, I don't want to look him in the class. And be like, yeah, <laughs> I messed, I messed up, man. <laughs> so no, nah, first couple of weeks are important bonding. Like you said, so it's going to be good. Talking with Nathan Martinez, quarterback for the Bulldogs. U of R opening up their season uh, very, very soon. It's September 7th on the road at George Fox. Nathan, last year, 8-2 and two overall on the season. A 10-game schedule for the Bulldogs. Uh, Sky at co-champs, but, but not a postseason berth. What are the goals for this year's team at the University of Redlands? Oh, we're trying to win them all. Uh, we're trying to go 10-0. Uh, being co-champs just not enough for us. That. That's the first thing we said in our meeting. We're not being a co-champ anymore. We're, we're going for it all, 
full out. We're go- we're going to be the, the champs. That, that's our goal. And then get that postseason berth and try to make a run at it. Well, Nathan, uh, do me a favor. Tell Coach uh, Mariani we need some of his famous pasta and spaghetti over here at the Animal <laughs> Sports Show. <laughs> I'll make sure to pass that along. It's pretty dang good. Isn't it? <laughs> Nathan, we appreciate the time, brother. Let's do this again very, very soon. But best of luck this season. Of course. Thank you so much, Pep. All right, you got it, Nathan. That's Nathan Martinez, quarterback for the Bulldogs here on the Inland Sports Show, always making time for us. Jeff, we've said this before. We'll say it again. Um, those U of R games are fun, man. Division three football is hard-hitting. It's action-packed. It's fun. And the U of R getting a lot of local guys right now, too. Oh, yeah, they do. And, and it's, it's an event. You know, every, every Saturday you go to a game, and it's people, are, the entire town rallies around uh, their college, a lot like Nathan Martinez playing at Ukaipa. You know, it's it, he's used to that. That kind of crowd. That same kind of, kind of environment. Yeah, same you're right. environment. Same, you know, one town, one t- one program. And I'll tell you what, if you are a local guy and you haven't been to a University of Redlands football game, it is, like you said, just like the UCLA's, the USC's, it is a – it's it's – Awesome. It's just one of those things you've got to experience. So make sure you go out and watch our guys playing here locally. Yeah, and they've got some local guys. You know, I, you know, I can't name them all, but Nathan Martinez mentioned Kai Thompson, the running yeah. back at a Murrieta Mesa High School. He'll be getting some touches from out of the backfield. And, of course, Nathan, a Ukaipa high guy. So uh, U of R set up to have a, a big season, it sounds like. And our, our guy Vinny Fazio will be on the call on uh, KMET, uh, 1490 AM, uh, on the radio this year for University of Redlands football with Mitch McClellan. So we'll be keeping up to date on the Bulldogs all season long but Jeff the big news that came out last night was the fact two nights ago actually was the fact on Monday night that Jaden Daniels out of Cajon High School will be the first true freshman to start at Arizona State at quarterback as well he should I'll tell you what we were talking to saw him play his entire high school career the best uh, high school quarterback in the nation uh we knew he was going to be great. He's put on some weight. He's been lifting weights. He looks good. And I'll tell you what, the spotlight will be on him, and he will flourish definitely. All right, we got some video of Jaden Daniels going through some of the workouts with Arizona State um, at leading up here through camp and getting ready for their season opener. I, I think it's against Penn State, I want to say. So they've got some big games coming up. But, man, Jaden Daniels, Jeff, he's a four-year starter at Cajon High School. So we t- we've been talking about this guy for a long time. He has thrown more yards than Anyone, just put it that way, anyone in the southern section, he is the most athletic quarterback we've seen, and his intelligence level on the field, his football acumen, his IQ is off the charts, and that's why guys like Herm Edwards and now Marvin Lewis are coaching him, and that's why he's the starter. He is the guy, and he will be playing for Saturdays for a number of years, possibly Sundays in the future. Yeah, he's surrounded by NFL talent there at Arizona State with all those great coaches, and to go in there as a true freshman, He's going to go in there, and he's going to get some great coaching. So as good as he is right now, he's only going to get better. Yeah, and, and you look at the history of the quarterbacks at Arizona State. He, if you're, They've had some great ones in the past, and he is the first true freshman to start for uh, Arizona State, and that just tells you something about him. Yeah, when we saw him last, I saw him at a, a University of Redlands Arizona State camp because, you know, the Sun Devils came out here yeah. and had their satellite camp at the U of R, and Herm Edwards was out there, and he, he was glowing about Jaden Daniels. I mean, you, you kind of saw the writing on the wall that Jaden Daniels was going to be a big deal for the uh, Sun Devils this season. Didn't know if he was going to start at the time, but Herm Edwards was certainly talking about Jaden Daniels as if he was the guy, and we heard Monday night that Jaden Daniels will be the guy, and you mentioned all the great Quarterbacks that have gone through Arizona State University. Um, the one I thought about was Jake the Snake, Jake, Jake Plummer. Plummer. Yeah, but hey, he never started as a true freshman, only Jaden Daniels. And that wasn't too long ago. Yeah. So we're going to hear from Jaden Daniels in a moment. But the other uh, local uh, stars doing big things over the weekend. And uh, this was pretty exciting because we're in the golden era of the golden age of San Bernardino football, Dino City doing it big. We had not one. But two guys out of San Bernardino score their first NFL touchdowns over the weekend on the same team. Both play for the Minnesota Vikings. We're talking about running back Alexander Madison out of Cardinal City, San Bernardino High School. And then Nate Metters, the defensive back um, out of San Gorgonio, also with the Minnesota Vikings. There's Alexander Madison catching the touchdown pass against the Saints from Kirk Cousins. His first NFL touchdown. Congrats to Alexander Madison, one of our favorite guys here on the show. And then also, Nate Matters, check out the pick six, right through the hands of the receiver, scoops it up, takes it back to the house. Nate Matters out of San G. 
and then Alexander Madison from San Bernardino High School. Who would have thought? Two guys, same hometown, same NFL team, scoring their first NFL touchdowns in the same game. That's pretty incredible, and that just tells you the talent level here in the Inland Empire uh, in general. You know, you talk about all the, high, the great high school teams, not only in Southern California, but the entire country, and those two guys have shown that they were the best when they were in their prime in high school. All right, we're going to take a break here on the Inland Sports Show. When we come back, a lot more great local football coverage. We're still efforting that interview with Arizona State quarterback Jaden Daniels, plus Chaparral head coach Andrew Raymer is going to check in. I've heard from a lot of people talking about the Pumas this season, that they've got a really good team. Hey, they, they got a great team. I'll tell you what, though, they, they're in a tough league, tough situation, but I can't wait to hear from Coach Raymer. Also, our preseason football rankings. No one else has seen these rankings. We're going to unveil them for the very first time tonight here on the show. We'll be back with more Inland Sports Show. Hello, everybody. This is Mike Maynard, the head football coach at the University of Redlands, and you're watching the Inland Sports Show. The Inland Sports Show is brought to you by Spoiled. Quick quality oil change. Spoil yourself and your car at Spoiled. Ken Sporting Goods. They have all of your sporting gear needs, letterman's jackets, and team uniforms. Boost Performance Training with Coach Ray Bass. Athletes of all levels and all sports are going to Boost Performance Training in Corona. Mike's Fitness Equipment. Check out the new storeroom on La Cadena. Quality fitness equipment at affordable prices. Mike's Fitness Equipment. And JoJo's Gorilla Dog, located in the Mountain Grove Shopping Center in Redlands. Let's be frank, not all dogs are created equal. JoJo's Gorilla Dog. God, first of all, I, I thank the great people that I've got around me that uh, help support me, the people that work for me. As I started, if it wasn't for the people around me, uh, we probably wouldn't be here right now, but I've got a great staff. I've got great people that do stuff for us outside the store, and uh, we've been very, very fortunate. Our service is impeccable, and we just keep trying to get better every year. We can do online stuff for your teams, as well as, like I said, the screen printing, the embroidery. We also have three women that do extra sewing for us, uh, like tackle tool on uniforms, or uh, the bling or rhinestones for, for different shirts for the ladies. That's why we have uh, certain racks just for, just for certain schools, and and the uh, the fun the fun about that is that it turns into other schools that may come in here that uh, aren't as close that we can do stuff for them as well. We've had very very good customers throughout the years, and it's just been it's just been a blast. I think it's because John Gruden, man. John Gruden's full of those one-liners. So here's the deal with Antonio Brown. The, it came out 
a couple, I don't say earlier in this week, a couple days ago, that he was not practicing because he had a foot injury. And everyone's right. like, what's the deal with his foot injury? Well, if you saw Hard Knocks, we kind of know a little bit more about this, that he has frostbite. Yeah. Right. He went, Screen frostbite. Yes. He went in those, one of those cryotherapy chambers. To baseball, the Dodgers are coming off a sweep of the Cardinals. And the young guys, like there's a guy, and they're calling him Ginger Guard, yeah. Dustin May, who has a huge red yeah. flow. Okay. Um, in fact, he it's huge. A, another another guy that you know the Dodgers groomed right here in Rancho Cucamonga. I watched him pitch for the Quakes. Wow. Now he's at the big league level. It's these young kids yeah. coming in with these veterans and men. A local basketball note: There's a star basketball player at Rancho Christian High School in Temecula. Okay. His name is Evan Mobley. And Evan Mobley um, has committed to USC, but he's the number one ranked high school basketball player wow. in the entire nation Whoa. for this upcoming class. And they're saying if, if the NBA still allowed high school kids to go straight to the pros, yeah. he'd be like the number one pick. Sports. And welcome back to the Inland Sports Show, live and amplified at Teen Vision TV 16. Talking a lot of high school football here. And, and Jeff, you know, we've talked about the – supercomputer before in the yes. Inland Sports studio. It squirts out. That's what it does. Yeah. Goes beep, boop, what does it squirt boop, out, though? The rankings. Oh, the, the rankings. The teams in the entire Inland Empire. Yeah, it's a very complicated formula. I will not go into it. There's a lot of algorithms and uh, Bunsen burners and beakers and it's all like of it. Mad scientists. Yes. And we just pour it all into the supercomputer, and it squirts out the the rankings every week. It's almost artificial intelligence. <laughs> So we have the preseason rankings, and a lot of this, again, is, is based on what we saw from last season, right? Who was yeah. good last year? Who's returning? Which Makes coaches sense. are still there? So a lot of it is just simply based on last year. So let's check out the, the grade eight and four more preseason rankings. And there's a new wrinkle this year. We have a who's next. That's like who's our bubble next? games. The bub right on the bubble. Right it'll on be, the bubble. Yeah, it'll be who's in, who's out. All right, again, this is the supercomputer, so don't get mad at us. Here's the rankings right now in the preseason. No one's going to argue with number one. They have been number one since dinosaurs roamed the earth. A centennial in at number one. Vista Murrieta in at number two. V. Rancho Verde at three, followed by Heritage, Cajon, Norco, Redlands East Valley, and Murrieta Valley. That is your top eight right now. But come after week zero, that could all change, right? Oh, of course it will. I mean, heck, Centennial, they're going to open up they, they open up their season versus modern day. Do we drop them if they, does the Super no. drop them if they lose? No, there's no way. No, but I'll tell you what. I will throw a beaker at the wall if that happens. I'll tell you what, though. I, I'm looking at these rankings, and there's a couple guys out there. Norco I'm looking at. I think Norco could move up rather quickly with that incredible arm they have with Illingsworth, but I'll tell you what. They just, they've got a great offense line they could be an offensive juggernaut they could pose some problems to the centennial yeah and what's fun is a lot of those teams in the top eight at least a lot of them are division one and or two or three like Cajon and Rev and Heritage they're all D3 I can't I can't even imagine those playoff matchups that we're gonna see yeah and, and Rancho Verde has a, a true sophomore quarterback who's you know the they say that one of the top three sophomores in the entire state uh, and the top 100 players with Coach uh, Duffy's son, they could be pose a threat, but the sophomore will be very, very good. Look out for him this year. And those are some really good teams. So that was the grade eight and the four more. Um, in the four more, we got to point out that Aquinas was there. Aquinas was the number one team in Division Five last season. Remember, they ran through the regular season. They got to the playoffs. They reached the quarterfinals as the number one seed. But they got a lot of guys coming back and some new additions, too. I think if there's a sleeper somewhere on there that we're not talking enough about, it might be Aquinas. Aquinas, they've, uh, the last few years, they've had those giant offensive linemen. They've had great skill positions. Big Germans, too. Oh, yeah, the big Germans. I fight, drive their foomph. <laughs> they are always good. Their coaching staff has them prepared every single game. Uh, it will be interesting to see them play Notre Dame later on. Yeah. The, the Holy War, uh, I think they're going to be very good as normal. I think Notre Dame has a shot to be in that next tier of guys. Yeah. I think Norda Vista is one of those teams that we haven't talked about in the River Valley League. 
You've got Coach Mashinsky at Ramona. You've got a new head coach at, at uh, Hillcrest. There's going to be some movement in that league. We saw it two years ago when they had four teams tied for first place. Yeah. Now it's going to be who's going to take that step in the River Valley League. Yeah, we saw our, in our four more, we had Citrus Hill. And I think Citrus Hill versus San Jacinto this year is going to be one of those must-watch games, like one of the biggest games on the calendar all season long because we saw San Jacinto go to a CIF Southern Section Championship game last year. Um, and from what I hear from other people that have seen the Tigers a lot more than I have, they could be better this year than they were last year. That's the rumor. And, you know, J- Jason McMaines over at Citrus Hill, he's going to – remember, he did a lot of unique and different things with that Notre Dame offense last yeah. year. He threw a they lot of – They were great on they, offense. They were great. They did a lot of different things. They went no huddle. They had a lot of gimmicky plays. McMaines is going to show a – Different side of Citrus Hill football. It's not going to be ground and pound. He's going to spread it out. He's going to work the field. I expect him to do a lot of different things. It's going to be a lot of fun. Those are the preseason rankings. So, again, I like to call them, like, why are we doing preseason rankings, preseason rankings? Like, yeah. you know, why? But we're doing it anyways because that's what everyone likes to talk about. So, there they are. We'll post it on Twitter and Instagram. You guys can all fight it out amongst yourself uh, on, the, on the social media platforms. But let's, again, take a look at some of those big week zero games. We have a graphic with some of the games, not all of them, but some of the games that we've kind of highlighted, Jeff, that we should keep an eye on going into next week, next Friday. Although there is a Thursday game and we're going to be all over it. That's Paloma Valley against Norda Vista. But the rest of Friday night games, our favorite, of course, that Centennial Modern Day game, right? Hey, that's a national title game. Way to, way to bookend your, se- end your season and start your season, Coach Matt Logan, and go after the very, very best and why not play Modern Day? A couple other sneaky good ones. Grace Brethren against Aquinas. Grace Brethren, one of the top teams in the entire state. Their head coach, Coach Henderson, former head coach at Aquinas. So there's all these ties between those two programs. In fact, they played in the state playoffs two seasons ago, so that one is really, really good. If Centennial wasn't playing modern day, Aquinas versus Grace Brethren might be number one on our list. Um, going down the list, another good one is Rancho Cucamonga against Roosevelt, pitting two of the top teams in the Inland Empire head-to-head. Rancho Cucamonga's got a tough schedule. I know they're going to play Norco as well a little bit later in the year, but um, Tommy Leach, just they score a lot of points. If they weren't in the Big 8 League, they'd probably be be, you know, roughshod over some other, you know, league somewhere. Yeah. They're that good. They're just in the Big 8 League. That's, yeah. that's tough. The Big 8 is tough, and you could put the Big 8 League basically in our top eight. You could put a few of those teams, you know, in the, in the top three for sure, but that Norco Williams Field game is interesting because there's a lot of Norco connections there as well. There is. There's uh, local connections there with Williams Field who came out to Norco last year. Now Norco making their first ever trip out of state to go to Arizona to play Williams Field. Another big one on that list this Chaparral against Hemet. Pumas look great. Dennis Gregovich now with the Hemet Bulldogs. That one's going to be a good one, too. All right, let's take a break here because when we come back, speaking of the Chaparral Pumas, Andrew Raymer, the head coach of the Pumas, will join us live. We'll talk about that matchup with the Bulldogs and some of his top players going into this season. We'll be back on the Inland Sports Show. What's going on, guys? This is Ray Bass from Boost Performance Training. You're watching the Inland Sports Show with the one and only Pep Fernandez. How you guys doing? Coach Bass here letting you all know that we will be opening enrollment for the 2019-2020 Boost Alternative School for Student Athletes in January. Bass is a private school here in Corona, California that emphasizes academic and athletic development for student athlete life as they prepare for high school and college. If you'd like more information regarding our private school, please feel free to reach out to us directly. You can contact us through social media uh, on Instagram at Boost Training, on Twitter, Boost underscore training, or you can contact us here at our gym at 95 Five one five three two four nine zero four.
Riverside. Uh, just opened up our new location off the 91 in Arlington in Riverside. Come check us out and get spoiled for a change. For a place, a people, an idea for right and freedom, for liberty and justice for all. For every square inch between fruited plains and spacious skies. Marines fight to win. See all the battles Marines fight to win at Marines.com. The Inland Sports Show is brought to you by Spoiled. Quick quality oil change. Spoil yourself and your car at Spoiled. Ken Sporting Goods. They have all of your sporting gear needs. Letterman's jackets and team uniforms. Boost performance training with coach Ray Bass. Athletes of all levels and all sports are going to boost performance training in Corona. Mike's Fitness Equipment. Check out the new storeroom on La Cadena. Quality fitness equipment at affordable prices. Mike's Fitness Equipment. And JoJo's Gorilla Dog, located in the Mountain Grove Shopping Center in Redlands. Let's be frank, not all dogs. Dogs are created equal. JoJo's Gorilla Dog. And welcome back to the Inland Sports Show. It's a Wednesday night, 6 o'clock, 6 to 7 o'clock hour. So you know what that means. We're talking local sports in the Inland Empire. And, Jeff, what is our pledge to America and IE? We are going to cover football every single show. Every single show talking local football, especially a lot of high school football. Join us live right now on the show. He is the head coach of the Chaparral Pumas, and he's done our show before. He's a good friend. It's Andrew Raymer. And, Coach, man, football season is here. The helmets and pads are out. How good does it feel to see your group this year on the field uh, and getting ready for that first game of the year against the Hemet Bulldogs? It's, it's, it's been great. The summer, uh, you know, long summer practices with the weight room and uh, conditioning, so it felt it felt great to be back in helmets and shoulder pads and started hitting again. So some real football came back. Yeah, we hear from a lot of coaches who kind of echo this sentiment that you know you go kind of through the spring and the summer and you, you know you're running routes, you're in the weight room, you do the seven on seven thing, but it just feels real when the helmets and pads come out because you know that first game is right around the corner. Do you do you like that first game to see that payoff? All that hard work, all the time in the weight room, it kind of culminates like, hey guys, we put in all the hard work, it's time to get paid. Let's go out there and play some real games. Uh, yeah, definitely. And it, it really is right around the corner, you know, with the CIF ruling and when you can start practice it, it's a quick turnaround from uh, when you can get in pads in your first game. So uh, it's coming up fast. You know, we got a scrimmage tomorrow uh, against Roosevelt and Elsinore high school. So, um, but yeah, we, you know, we'll start off with him at next week and uh, Greg just does a good job out there and uh, it'll be a nice battle for us and see where we're at. All right, Coach, without giving away all your secrets, when you, when you go into your scrimmage against Roosevelt and Elsinore, do you try to play it close to the vest? You know, you don't want to put all your cards on the table uh, for Dennis Gregovich and the Bulldogs. I mean, how, what, do you, what do you do when you go into a scrimmage? Do you want to just kind of get your guys some work and kind of knock off some rust without showing the entire playbook? What's kind of your, your mission going into a scrimmage, regardless of, of who you're playing? You know what? Our, our philosophy is we're going to try to get a lot of guys reps. Uh, see what we have, uh, you know, the game of football, you have injuries. So we got to see how much depth that we have. Um, and we, we got to focus on our base plays, you know, offensively and defensively. So uh, we're going to see our, our bread and butter on offense and our bread and butter on defense. And uh, then we're going to fly around with some controlled special teams as well. So speaking of bread and butter, who are the players that will be the bread and butter this year for the Chaparral Pumas? Who are your guys on offense and defense that you, you feel like you can lean on this year to be some of your uh, big-time players? Uh, well, we have a lot of returners on the offensive line. Uh, so we were young last year. Uh, we have a good history of the offensive linemen. So overall, we're, we're massive. We're big up front uh, with Ellie McGowan, Carson Sinezhi, and Chris Morales, and CJ Warren and Julian and Jaden. So I, the list can go on. We're, we're pretty much eight or nine deep right now with uh, big boys. And then uh, defensively, we, we, we've returned a lot back for that was all league with Tristan Ramirez in the middle of middle linebacker controlling it. Uh, and Jaheel Blue Smith at corner, Josh Swift. Um, and we, we have some other guys as well that are going to make some noise this year. 
Well, Coach, you guys played – you had a great start to last season. Uh, you guys went 5-0 and uh, going into league. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your preseason, how you scheduled, and who you guys are going to play this year? Yeah, this year, I mean, we opened up with Hemet, and then we're playing Redlands uh, week two. We got a week one bye. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and then we go at Ukaipa uh, and Santiago and then Takowitz. So – uh, you know, that, that Santiago and that Ukaipa game um, are going to be some nice challenges for us, S- some upper division teams. Uh, Ukaipa, we beat them in overtime last year, so I think that's going to be a really physical, hard-fought game. Uh, they, they came over here in our, our lineman challenge this summer, and um, they competed well and got the juices flowing a little bit, ready for that, that game right there. I was going to say, um, Ukaipa's got some some big guys on the line, too. Uh, you know, I don't know if there's a lot of teams that can match the size that, that you guys boast up front at Chaparral, but Ukaipa's got some dudes. Oh, yeah, they're massive. They're those two tackles, one's Boise State and Nevada, I believe. So good athletes, big guys, um, and they do a good job. So, Coach, what's your secret with all these great, huge, big, strong strapping offensive lineman and do you just have like a huge thing of like peanut butter and jelly always in the weight room so they could just be packing on the calories i mean what, what is your secret out there you know what they, they have people that they can look up to they have these idols that they can see hey what do you guys do and it makes it pretty easy for us you know like hey this is what the patrick clifford did uh this is what the kyle hoppy and mason walter did you know and, and going on the bryson bridges and justin Dietrich and stephen jones so uh, they just have guys, and, and those guys are always around. Uh, they do. Our alumni does a really good job of coming back and uh, hanging out with the guys and working out and just teaching them. So um, it makes our job easy. Well, Coach, uh, we'll wrap it up on this. I've, you know, I've talked to several people around the Inland Empire, and I, I say, who, who are the teams that we should watch for? I've heard Chaparral come up several times. You, you feel like there's an in- energy, a, a buzz around – this year's specific group uh, at Chaparral about this maybe could be a special squad? Yeah, uh, we, we got some special guys. So we got a lot of returning from last year. We got seven wins last year. We, you know, we lost in the playoffs to Oak Hills. Um, we got some new guys, you know, on campus that are bringing some energy and uh, meshing well with, with, the, with the returning guys. And um, everyone's back on staff. Uh, a lot of a lot of alumni on staff, a lot of teachers on staff. So everyone's been around. We're one big family. So, you know, we got to stay healthy and uh, we'll see where the season takes us. You know, we're in a tough Southwestern League. So uh, we start off with Mirrored Valley and Vista right off the first two games. So we'll see. We'll see how good we are, you know, after non-league. And then we get we start with the two top teams historically in the past couple of years, you know, with Mirrored Valley and, and Vista. Well, Coach, best of luck. We do appreciate the time. We know it's a, it's a crazy time of the year um, on the field, I'm sure for your family as well, as you're trying to sneak in some family time uh, between all these crazy practices in that first game. So we, we do appreciate it, and best of luck, Coach. I appreciate it. Thanks, Pat. All right, thank you, Coach. That's Coach Andrew Raymer, head coach of the Chaparral Pumas. They're huge. They're always huge up front. Oh, yeah, you talk about – he mentioned some of those guys, and the, the latest guy, Justin Dietrich, what a stud yes. he was. He just did our show a couple yeah, weeks did, ago. And, and I will say this. Even you could probably get 150 yards behind those guys offensive line. No, I could. Yeah, yeah for sure. You <laughs> <laughs> You're very quick. I'd be a thousand yard yeah, rusher. Yeah, you could be by like right now. This is, yes. <laughs> Maybe not. But but they are really good. Yes. They are really good. But man, they got to open with with Vista. Oh, that's a tough one, right? Well, I mean, and, that, and that's the key to scheduling. Like he kind of you know pointed out, singled out Ukaipa and Sun. Tiago, because those are upper division teams. They both play in really great leagues, the Big 8 League and Citrus Belt League. So it's probably the closest thing you're going to see to a, a Southwestern League school, right? Like a, like a Marietta yeah. Valley or a Vista Marietta, you know, when you go up against the T-Birds or the, the Sharks in this case. But, so. but even opening against uh, Hemet, who was in the semifinals last year. Yes. I mean, that's a really, really tough matchup yeah. for the first game. That could be a snake bite. you got to be ready to play. And I think, you know, Coach does a great job. All right, we come back here on the Inland Sports show more local football high school football we're going to bring you your, your broadcast schedule for next week there's a lot going on i can't believe it jeff games everywhere scrimmage week and the next week we do it for real yeah. uh, week, week zero of the high school football season so we'll get you all prepped for the big games coming up next week when we come back here on the inland sports show
This is Alexander Madison. You're watching the Inland Sports Show. The Inland Sports Show is brought to you by Spoiled. Quick quality oil change. Spoil yourself and your car at Spoiled. Ken Sporting Goods. They have all of your sporting gear needs, letterman's jackets, and team uniforms. Boost performance training with Coach Ray Bass. Athletes of all levels and all sports are going to boost performance training in Corona. Mike's Fitness Equipment. Check out the new storeroom on La Cadena. Quality fitness equipment at affordable prices. Mike's Fitness Equipment. And JoJo's Gorilla Dog, located in the Mountain Grove Shopping Center in Redlands. Let's be frank, not all dogs are created equal. JoJo's Gorilla Dog. God, first of all, I, I thank the great people that I've got around me that uh, help support me, the people that work for me. As I started, if it wasn't for the people around me, uh, we probably wouldn't be here right now, but I've got a great staff. I've got great people that do stuff for us outside the store, and uh, we've been very, very fortunate. Our service is impeccable, and we just keep trying to get better every year. We can do online stuff for your teams, as well as, like I said, the screen printing, the embroidery. We also have three women that do extra sewing for us, uh, like tackle tool on uniforms, or uh, the bling or rhinestones for, for different shirts for the ladies. That's why we have uh, certain racks just just for certain schools, and and the uh, the fun the fun about that is that it turns into other schools that may come in here that uh, aren't as close that we can do stuff for them as well. We've had very very good customers throughout the years, and it's just been it's just been a blast. develop quality citizens who keep our core, our country, and our communities side by side on the winning side. Not for glory, but for honor. For a code that isn't written or spoken, but lived. It's what we do. It's who we are. It's the battle cry of our fighting spirit. Battles won. See all the battles Marines fight to win at Marines.com. How you guys doing? Coach Bass here. We're back at the BPC. Wanted to share with you guys what we're doing today in the gym. Today is all about backward movement. So if you're a football player, lacrosse player, soccer, basketball, any sport that requires backward movement, this drill is for you. Come check it out. So what the athletes are doing here, they're doing a back lateral run. So what I'm looking for here is I want their head back. All right, they're gonna hit a lateral run. They're gonna hit a quick transition. So this is a 90 degree cut. So on all of our 90 degree cuts, it's a single foot cut. What I'm looking for is just a nice and fluid lateral run with their head looking back. They're going to dip that inside shoulder, make a nice, crisp and clean cut. They want to stay on a tight rope, and they want to accelerate out of it. So this drill here, it's very similar to the last drill that we just watched. Now we're hitting our lateral run, and we're going at a 135 degree angle. So we're just we're taking it up a notch. We're increasing that angle. So now we're still getting that single foot cut, cut off the inside edge of our foot, and then we want to decelerate at the cone. So again, we want to make a nice and sharp transition. We want to dip that inside shoulder. We want to decelerate. So that's our boost training tip of the day. Thanks for checking us out again. And make sure you stay up to date with everything that's boost. Check our schedules. Check our videos at our website at www.boosttrainingsystems.com. Check out our Twitter at boost underscore training and our Instagram at boost training. Grind hard, stay solid. And welcome back to the Inland Sports Show at Teen Vision TV 16. Pep Fernandez, Coach Gorham. Coach Wait, Gorham. Hey, Coach Gorham. I haven't been called coach in Wait. years. 
You said that you were never going to coach again. You're like, I, I, I retire. Basketball, I, I, my friend. You said basketball. Oh, so <laughs> I've retired from coaching basketball. I should have read the details. Yes, it was, it was in the fine print. You said, Pep, I want to spend every waking hour with you. All I want to do is sports broadcasting. You're the best thing that ever happened to me. Is that true? That is true. <laughs> that is true. You're like, the, you're like the little brother I never had. But you what? said, no, no. You said you were done with coaching, but you're back in the game? They pulled, just, just like they did in The Godfather, they pulled me back in. Wait, Hold on, let me guess. You're going to be at UCR with David Patrick or with Rick Croy at CBU, just hooping it up. You're going to be you're, I, you're going to be some like assistant head coach for one of the local basketball powers at the high school All level. Right. Nope, 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 nope. Here's the deal. The, uh, I am pro. making. I am making my comeback. That comeback is I am the head boys volleyball coach, my friend. <laughs> You know, I'm like Karch Karai or Dana no. Blanton. Oh, yeah, I'm coaching boys volleyball. The first time that I am starting the program at North of Vista High School in the spring, it is 59 years in the making. <laughs> and I am a lot of pressure. Yeah, a lot of pressure. That's oh, we're going to win. I'm going to play everybody. You name it. We got Hill. You know, Hillcrest. Hillcrest is good. Hillcrest Los has, is good. Yeah, no, no, no. Paloma Valley is good. They're okay. They are. They have Paris. not faced the mighty, mighty Braves. You got to play Paris. That's that's when it gets real. Are you kidding me? We're going to play everybody. I, I fear no one. So if you want to play me in volleyball, my team, we will be ready to play you. Do you have a schedule? Like seriously, do you are you asking teams out there like I need <laughs> I need games? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. I, I started this week. There's a couple teams that are on my radar, um, but I, I I can't divulge. My the way I pick my game. Oh, I'll okay. tell you afterwards. Okay. But we're only playing powerhouses. No. Only the powerhouses. Only the best. But yes, I am. I am back into the coaching game. I'm looking forward to the spring because remember, during football season, we're I'm calling 22 games this year. Yeah. For football, I we call at least 40 for basketball. Yeah. A lot of UCR I, I, games. I gotta have a downtime, and my downtime is gonna be coaching the youth of volleyball. <laughs> molding them. I'm gonna be molding. The minds of those guys, and we are going to be CIF champions. I'm going to get my first <laughs> ring as a volleyball coach. Have you ever won a CIF title? No, never. No. But I'm going to this in year. In volleyball. First year, 59 years in, I'm going to win a CIF championship my first year. All right, so you need opponents. You also need uniforms from Ken Sporting Goods. So, that was so my Jason, th- Jeff's going to be calling you soon. Yes. What else do you need? Are, are there uniforms, opponents? Uh, probably a lot of volleyballs, a, a net. <laughs> Uh, we, we will practice in the gym, maybe outside, you know, or beach, beach, beach volleyball. I can Go to start beach. beach volleyball too at North Vista, but yes, I am. But this is the first ever team at, the at, first at Novi ever boys volleyball team. And they, they called me in the first day of school. Honestly, I thought I was in trouble. I get, you know, when the principal calls you in, he goes, look, and, and normally I've been in trouble in the past. They, when I get called in, I'm like, ah, What's so I'm this thinking, time? okay, well, am I getting fired? Am I getting moved? No. They called me in and said, we want you to coach volleyball. And I chuckled and they said, I go, you do know, because I had coached volleyball in the past. I am professional volleyball <laughs> coach now. I'm getting paid. I'm really good. I am really, really good at coaching volleyball. <laughs> well, congratulations, <laughs> oh, Coach thank Cora. you, thank you. It's going to be back. fun. He's back it's gonna in gonna the be fun. Game. CIF championship. Just get that <laughs> ring right there. It's going to be right there on that fist. All right, we're going to wrap up the show with more football. We've got some big games coming up this week. But first, uh, a soundbite, because Jaden Daniels, remember, on Monday night, Arizona State head coach Herm Edwards made the announcement that Jaden Daniels, the pride of Cajon High School in San Bernardino, would be his starter as a true freshman. And this came on Monday night. This was like late at night. They had a night practice. So this was like 930 at night when he made the announcement. But uh, here's a little bit of that interview with Jaden Daniels when they named him the starter at ASU and uh, what he thought about being the guy for Coach Herm Edwards and the Sun Devils this season. Here is Jaden Daniels. Sports. Uh, I'm just grateful for the opportunity. Uh, best, I mean, just go out there and have a, a good camp and just out here trying to make the team better and help them win. Uh, yeah, it helped me out uh, starting four years of high school, uh, starting the freshman year. Uh, it's, it's just different. It's just a different level now. Just go out there, just ready to have fun and help the team win. I mean, all quarterbacks brought something to the table. Uh, I mean, just the decision making. Uh, just go out there, just preparation has to make things, just being prepared. Uh, all the other quarterbacks are great, and then the team helps out a lot. You know, the line, the receivers help out a lot, so that made it easier. 
I still think he's making a big mistake. I knew you were going to say that. You know why? I knew you because were Because I already that. offered. He could have been a millionaire right now. He didn't have to play college football. I told you. I was going to take him up. We were going to move, move together. I was going to be his agent, and I was going to move to the great white north, and he was going to play for one of those uh, Canadian football teams. Saskatchewan. The Saskatchewan, whatever it is. The Rough Riders. And there was gonna have, they were going to have a hamburger named after him. They were going to have a beat on it. Remember, because it's like up in the north, northwest, or up in the north, they eat hamburgers weird. So put a beat on there and call it the Jaden Daniels burger at McDonald's. <laughs> we could have had his own shoe and I could have been wealthy. And then uh, instead he decides to go play for Herm Edwards. <laughs> hey, yes, you, come on. He could have been playing with me. I could have been his agent. I was going to say, you know what? And to think he almost ended up in the CFL with you. Jim. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not almost. almost. Maybe that was a long yeah. shot. Okay. Here's your uh, broadcast schedule coming up for next week, which will be week zero of the high school yes. football season. Uh, so every week throughout the high school football year, we'll bring you your boost performance training broadcast schedule. Of course, everything starts on Wednesday with the Inland Sports Show. So you tune in Wednesday nights at 6 o'clock. We will get you all set for a big week of high school football. And then, you know, all these games either on Inland Sports or with our friends in, in the broadcast world. Friends and family. Paloma Valley versus Novi. That'll be an online radio game on the Inland Sports Channel. Palm Desert versus Beaumont on KMET 1490 AM ABC. Rialto versus Orange Vista right here. Teen Vision TV 16. You can find them on Vimeo. Hillcrest versus Arlington on Riverside TV. So check your local listings. They stream live on Facebook, YouTube, and on their local TV cable channels. And then Sports Weekly Live on Friday, 11 o'clock on IEMG TV 3 in San Bernardino. If you don't get it, it's okay. Just go to the IE Media Group YouTube channel. Watch it live from 11 to midnight every Friday night. So there is your Boost Performance Training broadcast schedule for week zero. Some real juicy games, Jeff. I'm excited. I'll tell you what, I'm going to be at the Norte Vista game Thursday night versus Paloma Valley. Then I get to call the Hillcrest Arlington game to start Riverside TV. Oh. So I'm excited. Man, I'm, you're jumping right in. I am all over the place. Right All in over. And speaking of Novi, we got a fancy graphic for that what? one. We Norte Vista taking on Paloma Valley. That will be our maiden voyage this season on the Inland Sports Channel. We will be doing online radio games all season long here uh, and that's our first one Paloma Valley against Norta Vista and Cullen Holt who is doing baseball right now in Wisconsin is supposed to be back and joined by Tim Hatch. They were your broadcast team last season. They'll be doing it all over again beginning next Thursday night. So a week from tomorrow, Jeff, we get going. And you and I will be out on the field walking around schmoozing. Maybe you'll do some sideline reporting. Mike, I, yeah. I can be right next to Ken Batdorf. The entire Lucky game. you. Uh, yeah, it's always lucky. I get to <laughs> hang out with them all the time. <laughs> and one more fancy graphic before we wrap things up. Yes, Another we, one? That uh, last one. It looks like it took you weeks to put together. We got lots of fancy graphics. Let's on see this, this new. What's this other fancy graphic? You already know. We told you about it. But Sports Weekly Live on IEMG, the only high school football show in the Inland Empire. Fridays, 11 o'clock to midnight. Scores. Highlights, interviews. So here's the drill. You, you watch your game live on Valverde, Teen Vision TV 16, or Riverside TV. Yes, or better li- watch me. Or listen on KMET 1490 AM, and then you hop on over to IEMG at 11 o'clock. And I'm going to break it all the way down. All the way down. All the games, all the scores. Million, There's a million games you cover, Pep. Sometimes it feels like a million. By the end of it, I am sweating. I'm greasy. I'm out of breath. And, and I'm it's parched. It's, and, all, it's, it's a mess. And it's like 1 o'clock in the morning when you go home. And it's like 1 o'clock in the morning leaving downtown San Bernardino. Yes. Last year, true story, last year we came out and some guy was trying to steal a tire off one of our uh, our director's car. So we were running down the alley to give me that tire. What are you doing with my tire, dude? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, the fun of going to San Bernardino. Uh, Hanging we, out. We love at it. At midnight. <laughs> Big fun. thanks to Johnny, Anthony, uh, Elijah over here doing Elijah things. Sitting on, on the, the couch. couch over there. Did he do anything today? Yeah, he does everything. He gave, yes, he oh, saved man. us. He saved us. Oh, he did. He Thank did you, Elijah. Yes, he, he did. did. He yeah. saved us. Uh, Elijah Green, uh, our newest intern, which he's going to be on the show next week. He is? Yeah, so he's going to make his return appearance, like the encore. I love it when the Elijah's sequel. on. Yeah, he was good last time. All right, again, uh, we'll be back next Wednesday, 6 o'clock, our first online radio game next Thursday, Paloma Valley against Norta Vista. Coach Gorham's good to see you again. <laughs> hey, it's great to be back. Breaking news on the show Volleyball. Tonight. Bump, <laughs> set, 
spike. That's it. I just, I just told you. That That's was all you need to know. That's my keys to success. Bump, set, spike. That's it. I'm ready. We'll see, see you guys, champs. We'll see you next week on the Inland Sports Show. Thank <laughs> you.